Here we are with the Cessna 172 and Skyhawk 2. We start with a walk around of the aircraft, doing inspection for any external damage, especially on the control surfaces and propeller. That's looking pretty good. Alright, let's get inside. Not sure who that joker is, but you better get out. Okay, we're inside the aircraft. I've chucked that guy out and I've closed the door. First thing we'll check is the fuel selector valve. Make sure that is in the both position, which it is. Check that the avionic switch and the battery are off. And also um, the brake set. Check that the circuit breakers are all in, which they are. We'll put the mixture up on into fully rich. Make sure the carburetor heat is turned off. Turn on the master battery switch and we'll prime the fuel. Two strokes should be sufficient. And we'll put the throttle forward one eighth of an inch. Check that the propeller area is clear. Don't want to cut off any humans or little chunks get blood splatter on the windscreen that would be good unless you're doing instrument flying and then that's fine go to the ignition switch and start the motor all right that started no blood on the windscreen check the oil pressure that's good oil temp good fuel quantity that's all topped up. Check that the flight controls are free and moving correctly. Yep, that's good. Yep. Check the flight instruments. Airspeed indicator should be on zero. Attitude indicator should be level. Altitude indicator should show that airport's attitude turn coordinator should show level heading indicator should match the magnetic compass which it is and vertical speed should so show zero we'll put the elevator trim to take off now I need to actually also check the flaps make sure they're up to now I'm going to increase the throttle to get 1700 rpm there we go now we're going to check that both magnetos are working correctly check the left one first slight drop there right one can't see much drop um, difference between the two magnetos. Pull back to both. Wait till it rises back to 1700, and then check the right one. Yeah, that's all good. Back to both. We're going to check for that. Is that uh, there's less than 125 rpm drop on either magneto, and less than 50 rpm difference between both magnetos. Also check that the carburetor heat is working correctly. Turn that on. Notice the RPM drop. Turn it off. RPM rise again. So that's working fine. Check the suction gauge also. And that's work that's looking good. You can decrease throttle now. Turn the avionics on. That's turned my radios on now. Then we'll turn my nav lights on and beacon on. And that's about it. We can release the brake and start taxiing. <laughs> 